Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use a date field filter in your Jinja template that is used by Flask app. So here I have a Flask app that I wrote a while ago on creating a blog, and I used a very crude way of displaying the date. So let me look at one of the templates, the index here. And if I go down to the section with the date, I'm actually doing the formatting here, but I don't need to do the formatting here and it's best to leave as much logic out of the template as possible. I mean, even though this is fairly simple, I still have logic in the template. So instead of doing this, I can create a custom filter that will allow me to just pipe the date posted to the filter and display a date. So to show you what I'm talking about is here I have these dates, September 3rd, 2017. And in my database, I have date objects stored, which get converted to Python date time objects in Python. And then I can format them to look any way that I want. So I'm using the string format here uh, to display the date, but instead of doing that, I want to create a custom filter. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll create a function, and this function is going to take in a value, and it will transform that value into a certain format. So this is going to be based off the example that is in the Flask app. So if you've looked closely, you may have seen this before. So date time format is the name and it's going to take in a value. So the value is going to be the value that's piped to it. So in this case, it will be date or yes, post that date posted will be piped into this filter. And then the second value can be an optional format. So by default, the format will be, let's just say capital B, which is the month, the name of the month. So with that, I'll simply return the value and then I'll use string format time and I'll pass in the format, which is by default B, but I can override it. So once I have that, I need to tell Flask that this is a filter that will be used in Jinja. And I can do that in one of two ways. I can either down here call the Jinja environment and then filters directly and add a key. So in this case, I want it to be daytime format. And then I need to pass in the actual function name, which in this case is exactly the same daytime format. If this was something else, the name of the function was something else, so go here. And then here in the side of the key for filters is the name of the filter that you want to use. In this particular case, they're the same. I can also do this in Flask. I can do app.template filter and then give it a name. So date time format will be the name. I'm going to go with this approach. So I'll just comment this one out. And now for my index, what I'll do is I'll remove the format here. So I'll copy the actual format that I use because I'm going to use it again and I'll pipe it to date time format. And if this works, I should just see the month instead of the day and the year because I'm only displaying the month in the format. So hopefully I don't have any errors. If I do, I can restart the app. And I do because I have invalid syntax. And that is because I forgot the colon at the end of the function. There we go. So I'll start the app up again. And now let's take a look. Okay, so we see posted by David on September. So it's only displaying September because I'm not showing any additional date information. So if I change that filter to be something like this, the filter could then be capital H, capital M. So percent H colon percent M. This will give me the time that it was posted. So I'll restart the app so I can have the template get reloaded and you see the time. So 1806, 1800 and 1750. So now what I'll do is I'll just add back the original date format and then I should get it back. And once again, I need to restart my app. That wasn't a significant enough change. So I'll restart the app. And once it loads, we'll see that it has the original day format again. But instead of calling it directly in the template, I am using the filter to do it. And my app is a little slow, so let me start it again. 
So stop and reload. There we go. So September 3rd, 2017. And it's the same on the other page, I believe. There should have been one more with the date format. And yes, so the post page. So I'll go ahead and modify that. And there is the format. So what I'll do is I will simply change this to be date posted piped into date time format. So even though it's a very small change, it gives us flexibility of having the filter in Python so we can modify it there any way we want instead of going to each individual template and modifying it there. So if I had used it a hundred times, I would only have to modify it once here in the app.py file if I wanted to change something about it. Whereas before, I had to do it in every single place. It was only two, so it wasn't a big deal, but if you have more, then it becomes a problem. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video, how to use that uh, template filter in Jinja and Flask. And I kept hitting this and I wanted to show you this at the end of the video, but basically uh, you can check out prettyprinter.com for Flask courses. So if you're interested in the intro to Flask course, the Flask SQL Alchemy Basics course, they're free to join. And then I have two other courses that are more in depth that you can also join. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.